We described your, your platform as Airbnb-like. Can you kind of give us what the biggest difference between staying in an Airbnb, Airbnb, I can't talk right now, an Airbnb in a hotel is from a Sonder site? And why would business travelers be attracted to one of your properties as opposed to a hotel or just an Airbnb? Certainly. So listen, Sonder is a tech-enabled hospitality brand. Uh, so what that means is that we actually operate hotels and apartments under the Sonder brand. And those spaces are beautifully designed by us uh, the services are accessed through the Sonder mobile app. So early check-in, like check-out, um, communication with our staff, requests, et cetera. And it makes it possible for us to offer premium accommodations uh, with modern service at a really great value. And we're on a mission to take our offering from the 39 cities we're currently in across 10 countries to the rest of the world. Yeah, I know you own all of your properties. Um, you have more than 250 across the nation. Um, so... The idea here is for you is that you can attract business travelers in general. They would ideally be longer stay people like a lot of other people on your platform. My question to you is that when do you see your, your ability to take advantage of that? I talked to my colleague, Phil LeBeau, one of the experts on airline travel and business travel in general. He says right now business travel is uh, probably about 70 percent lower than it was before the pandemic. Um, when do you see the rebound and do you see people staying as long as they would have pre-pandemic? So the business travel recovery has been slower than leisure travel, but it still has happened extremely rapidly. And we think that the value proposition that we offer really resonates with travel managers. Uh, they have a duty of care. They need to ensure that their employees are traveling safely. Uh, and with Sonder, it's possible to do the entire stay uh, in a completely contactless way. Um, you know, we have units, and oftentimes that are larger, uh, that are just uh, better uh, in the context of the pandemic. That's been really resonating with travelers over the last 18 months. Uh, and that story is uh, really appealing to uh, travel managers and businesses that want to put their uh, employees back on the road. So where do you see the future of, of long-term stays like uh, your company provides? Do you see people wanting to stay longer in one place? Or as the recovery continues, do people want to kind of be a bit more nomadic? We saw, you know, a big boost in uh, RV shipments. A lot of people wanting to hit the road and get out there and also have just more control over their environment. Yeah, listen, I've... I've been on the road for uh, uh, the last, in the last 12 months, for about nine months, I've been staying in a variety of saunders very, very comfortably, working remotely. And actually 74% of young adults that we've surveyed uh, have expressed a strong interest in trying the digital nomad lifestyle. Uh, the idea that companies are increasingly comfortable with remote work means that uh, folks are taking advantage of that freedom. Uh, and a sonder space is, is really perfect for that. Uh, those you know, spaces look really beautiful, appealing, local, um, and come with really high quality and consistency. Uh, which is something that's really impossible to find in the market today and, and really suitable for, for longer stays. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.